vs Donegu. Hack is down one game already. Yonsu is his map choice. The Terran player starts to the top right in Star Tail Red, you could say. Yeah. On Altism Stronghold, he was not successful against his opponents. He looks so focused. His eyes. I just see it. You, you see what I'm saying, though, right? He still looks like really focused. <laughs> yeah, we was just waiting for. Who was that squirrel that just started yawning suddenly? I was waiting for oh, something yeah. like that. I was like, oh, he's bored here. And you were like, no, he's not. And then <laughs> he got a camera shot and he yawns. So I'm like, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was good. That was one of the best timings that we ever had with the camera guy there. But yeah, I hope that he's focused. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just. He looks like incredibly so. Um. We didn't get to see his face clearly when he had when the first game ended, but it looked like he almost had a breakdown. Like he put his head in his hands, and he, you could see he was visibly shaking. Um, I actually think he was bouncing. Well, with the, you know, with the legs, and then uh, the rest of you looks like you're shaking, but he was not shaking. Well, I mean, if he's bouncing with his legs, that could be your indication that you're really stressed out, or that you just really like to bounce with your legs when you lose a match. I do that all the time, especially yeah. when I play. I don't really do that. I only do that when my opponent in Hearthstone is taking way too long, and I'm like, really? And then he just like plays one card that's so obvious. I'm like, that wasn't even a choice. <laughs> no, I, I consciously do that all the time. It's it's. I, I my sister does that too, actually. I don't even realize that. And usually when I'm out with a girl, for example, they always like put a hand on my knee and I'm like, stop that, you're making me nervous. And I'm like, what? And I don't even realize that I do it. And five minutes later, I start again. I've never I have really realized you do that, actually. I do that all the time. Like right now, I did that as well when we were casting, and I just realized it because we were talking about it. You don't feel that? Like on the balcony here, everything. Do it, do it, do it again. Like wait, I can't do it in command. This is weird. It's like peeing in command. Well, like no, I, I never really noticed. But you feel that, right? Yeah, I do that bit, all yeah. the time. Yeah, I never really noticed. I, I mean, maybe once or twice I noticed you do it. It has probably to do with the fact that I drink like five coffees when I wake up, and then drink another coffee before we start casting, and when we have our break, I drink another coffee. You also had a hot six. I also had a hot six, so that might have something to do with it. This SCV is just uh, trying to be artsy while he waits. Yeah. You're there, he's like really superstitious. He's like, if you make <laughs> a pentagon <laughs> twice before you drop the command center, it's good luck. That wasn't a pentagon, oh. by the way, it was a quadrilateral. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking at it, I was like, wait a second, that was weird. <laughs> it, it, was, it wasn't even a trapezoid, but... Yeah, it was something. That guy, I mean, he might have believed in the Pentagon, uh... <laughs> he might have believed in the Pentagon in Patrol. The Pentagon, the, yeah. The Penta Patrol, but he's not very good at it yet, he still hasn't mastered it. <sighs> it's like when I watch Full Metal Alchemist, they draw a transmutation circle, I'm like, nobody could draw that perfectly. He doesn't even use tools. How is he doing that that fast? Suspected. I couldn't even write my name that fast, but like these guys, <laughs> where did he get the chalk? I'm like, where did that chalk come from? How do you pull the chalk out and then draw that like on his hand with like an ink pen like that's perfect, like a ballpoint, not a ballpoint pen, like one of those really sharp pens, a calligraphy pen? I'm like, I don't think so, Roy Mustang. I don't think so. I never understood why they don't just use stamps. Oh, whoa. New meta right there. Oh my god. Just have a stamp for every situation. Like, pam, there it is. That must be what they did, actually. They just didn't want to tell me. It's a secret werewolf. Oh my god. You're a genius. I thought you knew. You could make so much money making those stamps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Right now, in the main base of uh, Hack, we actually see him go into the third CC again. And guess what? That's been scouted. DRG is... Oh, actually, has it been? I think so. I think he went in and went out. Yeah, the Overlord went in and out, but I don't think that the second Overlord actually saw it, so he might have missed that uh, third CC because the other Overlord is just outside of scouting range, if I'm not mistaken. He might not have spotted that. Well, I wish that I had a PC so I could click on it and press yep. B and tell you, but I don't. Observing PC would go a long way right now first. But I, I can't tell you. The one thing that we uh, also know is that it's not going to be Mac. Not this time on Yonsu. We have Stim being researched. Unless he's gonna fake it out, the overlord sees the stim, he cancels it, and then goes mech. <laughs> Your response was the ideal one. That's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Cap. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, there we have. These two Reapers are. They have the buddies. Party. They're, They're buddies, buddies, probably, but. 
The thing is, the Hellions really uh, keep them safe. They don't really keep the Hellions safe. The Reaper's just there to do extra damage. The thing is, the Hellions actually tank the real damage. The Reapers just recover later. It's really an unfair relationship they have with each other. Would you rather be a Reaper or a Hellion? I think a Reaper, because I can get out of... I can. I, I feel more autonomous. I can get go up and down close and get out of situations. I would feel like you can him the entire time. Jetpack for the win. The thing about the Reapers with the new patches, like, they, their guns need an upgrade. Like, if I were a Reaper, the first thing I'd do is go to the engineering bay and get a new, new weapon. I would get a rocket launcher. That sounds really scary. You with jetpack and a rocket launcher. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. It sounds absolutely awesome. Well, they don't have those grenades anymore either. But yeah. they are going to do some damage to these queens. I I think, actually, if he doesn't send some links over here... Well, Hack already in game one did so much damage with his uh, Hellions. He just kept poking at the front. Right now, this is pretty good what we see for DIG. He gets his creep spread up, even though there are Hellions. He is already in a pretty good position with his Harvest Tech Hound. 53, just going to increase that. And we have six Queens that gives him a lot of safety. He can use his tech. The Zerglings here working at the rocks, absolutely unscouted, getting extra gas, double upgrades. Don't let DIG have too much time hack. It's not going to work out for you. No. Reaper jumps up here on the watchtower to get vision, but... What he sees is not what he wants to see, which is a ton of queens coming his way. The Overlord moves further away. I think he saw the third CC. Yeah, I guess he must have seen it. I mean, the way that he plays right now... He's even getting the, the fourth base ready to take at the bottom right with uh, all the attacks we see over there with, it looks like, mostly lings. Um, just to clear up those rocks. Bainling speed on the way. Spire going up. Missing some harvesters in this gas in his main base. Definitely not intentional. And here comes the third base for Hack. Very good location for that. Let's see how fast DRG gets his upgrades this game, because last game he was really on top of that. This time Hack not missing his armory, as you can see on the production tab there on the fourth slot. The thing is, like, Hack is trying to kill a couple of creep tumors, and he got a few. I think he got four in total. But with the extra queens that we have for DRG, he's spreading his creep like a maniac, and Hack has such a huge problem of keeping the creep spread low. Even attacking the queens was a big problem for him. So Hack just takes the center of the map and is now safely expanding to the bottom right, takes a fourth base, and any time that Hack decides to move out, DRG will know about that. So it's really scary for him. The army supply is in Hack's favor, and he has a pretty heavy hitting force there now, and a very mobile one too. But with all the queens and a couple of additional zerklings, DRG could contest that, especially since he already has his banelings in the game. Finally some creep control here now that he has the medivax. Yeah. And again, hack a little bit late on his upgrades. Look at that. Doesn't start it. Yeah, the armory is long done. And yeah. The 1-1 is also completed. It's actually DRG who's getting ahead in upgrades. Yeah, this now. happened in game one. Well, oh. in game one he just forgot his armory. But... He's just so occupied with this harass, and I don't think he's going to get this base. There's not enough. There's way too many Zerlings here. He's going to have to lift up, losing only one Marine, so not, not too bad. He can come back later and try to get that. Upgrade's not started, and DRG not realizing that he doesn't have those uh, three things and his gas, three drones. Well, there they are, finally, the upgrades. Yeah, he starts 2-2, and the question for me is when will DRG go and start his infestation with the go into 3-3. But now he's fine with the Mutal List, and he doesn't have really the gas that he wants. He's going to take the two geysers, of course, at the bottom right. Bit confused and surprised that he didn't take those already. Because with the extra gas, it would really help him a lot here. But the Zerfing's rushing in right now. We have a couple of Widowmines now, but near too many. The Marines kiting back a few Mutal Lists to contest the Medivacs. Not sniping them just yet, and it's difficult with those many Marines still being around. Yep, this is a really strong attack here for Hack, but... With no Widow Mines and nothing really to support these Marines, it's all about the splitting. There come the Widow Mines now, but yeah. they're a bit late to the party. Yeah, still the splits are good. Splits by the Marines here, yeah, and the position for Hack was great in general. He was just walking around that edge of the ramp, and that made it so that DRG couldn't really attack with his entire army. So suddenly, Hack finds himself in a really good position here, army wise. Yeah. Army supply is dead even, but Hack's army is solid. You can just target these Mutas and then get up and get out. Yeah, and with the afterburners he can get out without a problem. He's just dropping them against against the Mutalis. So he's making that high and low ground work to his advantage, at least trying to. Trying to run away once again, but this time DRG is just waiting for him to drop the Marines. Follows those medivacs with the rest of his army, and of course the Mutalis always trying to chase him. Widow Mines could get good, hot sh uh, good oh shots off. God. Not really as successful as I thought they would be though, yeah. especially the first one. Well, this uh, waste of families on the 
bunker is actually going to well, possibly help him out, as it is because there's just not enough reinforcements here. And Hack is just being overwhelmed right now. It's the 2-2 upgrades versus 1-1 one, one so far. That missed upgrade timing is really starting to hurt him here. This Orbital is taking a lot of hits. Orbital is taking the hits, yeah. At the same time, the Widowmine goes down without a single shot. Marines moving in once again. The Mutalist trying to pick up a couple of additional SCVs. 70 harvesters against 56. The mules are making up for the difference. The 2-2 for Hack is still not done. DRG without the infestation bit, but now with the fourth base and the two extractors taken. Heaven is like so... He's like in... He's so confident that DRG will notice he forgot that extractor. Well, now he puts one in. I just saw on, on the bottom of the, the map. He was like, he keeps circling and I'm like, I don't, oh no, he hasn't. I think he's too confident that DRG's, DRG's going to see us. I don't think DRG will notice this for the rest of the game. That's my, my call on this. Yeah, I was actually, yeah, he has, so he has one gas without uh, without mining yet. All the others are fully saturated. Yeah. Speed upgrade now are finally coming up for the Overseers. He should have researched that already a long time ago, but he needs it now especially since he is increasing his Mutalist count. Yeah, and also there's the Widow Mines. He actually runs in here to get that Widow Mine. I've noticed that DRGU is not afraid to trade Banelings for Widow Mines, and this is way too many Zerlings for this Bioforce. Mutalist is going to actually just trade against the Medivacs, and the Banelings actually hold them at bay. Hack splitting non-existent in this fight. He's and losing too many of the Medivacs. But Medivacs cost him too much money, yeah. He's down to so little in supply, and DRG with that fourth base and all the extra gas he has. Imagine if he didn't forget to put. Oh no! Ah, uh, that hurts. Yeah, losing the mutilus there is of course an issue, but only two medivacs in the game, and that's a problem. A big one for the town player. Widow Mine shot doing some more damage to those marines, actually, as funny as it is, and. The only thing that I'm hearing here in the game is the end, it's like, oh, all those marines dying. constantly losing his marines to Mutas and Zerglings, not even Banelings at this point. And yeah. Actus has lost the, the momentum. In fact, he never really had it. And this now he's going to lose his base, there's nothing in the bunker. Yep. And he's losing more SVs. Mining time lost at the third base against the four base economy of DRG. And, uh, well, it's time for more Marines dying, I guess. Yep. I mean, Widow Mines here even hitting them. There's just way too much pressure here. Oh, oh. You're pretty good at that. Thank you. They call you when they make a new unit for Legacy of the Void for Terran. New bio unit. Oh, yeah. You could do. You could be the medic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There we go. That's the role that I see myself in. The medic, exactly. The guy who heals people. I'm a healer, deep down. Just use the, the death animation, or the death voice for the, the medic. That could be you, man. <laughs> well, the thing is that right now it's just basically a, a long... Attack streak for DRG. Attack after attack after attack, hitting the third base, denying mining over there, taking down SCVs, limiting the income of the Terran as much as he can. He's claiming the map still, spreading creep in the main base now. And it's I, I want to see how many Marines died in this game. Hack basically is just trying to hold out for 3-3. He's going to finally maybe kill these the collapsible rock tower. And he's just killing the Marines as they spawn, now going for SCVs instead. He just has way too many Mutas here, and he's like, yeah, you kill one of my mutas, that's okay. I killed so much. Well, losing a few more than that, a little bit more painful. And here we go. Banelings rolling into the third base. Banelings here everywhere. as well. Oh my god. The SCVs are all gone. The Marines are dying too. And army supply is still keeping up, but he's going to lose his third. Oh my god, that hit with a widow mine. <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, Blood and gore. And everywhere, they're just circling parts flying through the air. This that drop was an is, awesome shot. This drop is a no no. 11 hit points left, two more queen shots will do it, but doesn't get it off. Regardless, 49 harvesters left for Hack, no fourth base, remaking his third, and his economy is shot down to less than a thousand minerals per minute with mules. But DRG still doesn't get the infestation pit to start his hive tech, so he's really, really trying to make it work now. And if Hack at some point gets the marine numbers and Medivax in the game to support them with the 3-3 upgrades that he now has, I don't know, it might actually start to uh, turn a bit on uh, the Zerg player here. He's still a massive lead, and uh, just with the aggression that he has, but he should prepare the next steps, especially since he yeah. has the economy to do that. Doesn't want to be a Peter Pan Zerg man. Yeah. What's a Peter Pan Zerg? Zerg never grows up. Never goes to high tech. Ah. Yeah. Look at that, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to send Hack to Never Never Land here. Banelings rolling in. He we, he's off oh, the oh, The wow. Widowmine shots are nice here, and they're getting better and better. It's just too much, though. He's just under so much pressure, and DRG has this endless barrage of units. 70 Zerlings on the production tab, that's a lot of larva. 
On the other hand, with no Baneling series, he's going to have to get out of there with the Mutas, maybe kill some more add-ons. They goes in the main base and all oh, these SCVs. clustering up and taking just but three Widow Mines. Oh my god, if he would have baited the Mutalus into the Widow Mines, I think that would have been a slaughter. Hack is basically just uh, reinventing that Shredder unit from the Alpha. He's like putting four Widow Mines in the place. He's like, this is basically the Shredder. No workers killed at Against all for 53. Hack. Three Hack didn't even kill a scouting drone. Wow. Well, <laughs> units killed by Hack 500 against 291. And that's that's never. I mean, 500 sounds like a lot, but it's because of the Zerglings. And keep in mind that DRG during all of this is missing a gas that he doesn't even know about. He could have even better gas income. He could have an even better gas like bank right now. Yeah. More units. DRG's playing with a handicap <laughs> he doesn't even know about. That lone drop in enemy territory in the mirrors. That no, we don't want to be dropped here. Like, could you please fly us back? Uh, many of the is like, no, take down. This edge. is a bit of a more scary drop. Oh my god, he's spotted. DRG's on the hunt. Medivac group needs to get out of here. They boost away. They're going to get onto the high ground. It's going to help them out a little bit. And that will actually save the drop. DRG, though, is very content that Hack is basically mining off of one base right now. Yep. It's not... The, oh, finally, there's the infestation bit. So he gets it, but also another base being established for DRG. Hack is just like... He's a town player without any... I, I don't know, he has no no prospects. There's no long-term plan that he's following, I feel. Oh it's my just god, like all the SCBs are stacked up here. Him trying to somehow survive. Well, well he's trapping the Mutas this time. Not really. <laughs> the Mutas just all say right. like, Oh my god, I'm trapped. Oh no, wait, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, that was... That wasn't the monkey from Aladdin has a sword. And the guards get scared, and they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's just a monkey with the sword. You know what I'm talking about? You know the scene I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but usually those monkeys are pretty dangerous. You shouldn't underestimate them. You know this fake video where the monkey has like a gun and starts shooting it? No. <laughs> you but I've seen out. monkeys with sword in video games, and they are usually pretty good at wielding them. Oh, there we go. Widow mines are gone. Missile turrets is also gone. He repaired it until it, he didn't have enough money to repair it, and then actually he stopped repairing it because he Seven literally didn't have minerals. G harvest is killed. GG. GG. That was a 30-minute death animation of Hack dying to DRG. Wow. That was a smackdown, man. DRG is like, this is my on day. Sorry. Sorry, Hack. Sorry you had to run into me. Yeah, that was well played. I mean, it's not the best matchup for... For Hack, now he's kind of done with it, at least if he doesn't de meet DRG again in the Constellation match. But that was really well played by Dong Magu there, and Hack a bit like disappointed, I guess. Yeah, he's going to have to play a TVT now in the Losers match, whereas DRG will now meet Sora. And, and that should be a real good one. That's going to be like the best match possibly of the group, and yeah. it's our winner's match. Whoever wins this will go to Kodas, so we're going to have one non-Terran already going to Kodas, and, uh, yep. and actually only one Terran possible now to get out of the group. Uh, if even one of them does. Exactly. So we might see once again the Terran players fall here at the GSL Code A. We're not there yet. We have our winner's match. It's going to be uh, Sora versus Dongagu and then the two Terran players meeting each other in the loser's match after that. Before we are jumping into our next best of three, we of course have another short commercial break and once we are back, we'll see the Zerg versus Protoss with Sora going up against Dongagu. So make sure you tune in for that. We'll be back in a few minutes. See you then.